they were much better than than their opponent. It was it was pretty clear. But I think against the Philippines, this will be the real barometer uh, for Mongolia. So we're going to see how this one plays out. We got a 10 minute sprint in front of us. Claren cleared to shoot. She misses it. A narrow miss, but still a miss. The defense tightened it up. A jump ball that's as good as a steal. Cacho getting in there, mixing it up. We've mentioned her name a few times, haven't we? I think we're going to keep mentioning that name, but keep a lookout for Clarence. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a travel. Yes. Definitely. Don't say what. Definitely a travel. You cannot take two steps as you get the ball. Establish a pivot foot. Yeah. Keep the footwork clean. The ball fake. Arian Sensei cannot get that one to go. Claren swings it over. Pingo, the Josin, she lets the two go. She get that one from QC. It's two zip Philippines. What do you notice about the Philippines and how they play, Kyle? They move that ball around with a quickness. They share the wealth. They're not stagnant. They move it around and they shoot that thing with a vengeance. Josin, we know she was the most consistent two-point shooter for her team during the qualifying draw. You got the slashing ability of Claren and Pingle as well, who creates off of penetration. And then Kacho, who just, she likes, she likes doing the dirty work. She likes grinding down there in the post and making those defensive plays. And she's also the best screener that they have. And setting those screens. Uh oh Step back. Get over here. Josin the mid-range strike. Three zip, Philippines. Mongolia. Josin, no hesitation. She'll miss that one short. I she needs to keep shooting it, Kyle. Shoot that thing. Oh, Pingo hit her with the hezzy. Filipinas. Jumping out the gate. Indra. Oh, you won't get a better look than that. She can't make it count. Cacho. She'll give it up. They swing it to the left corner. Joseph. She got the green light. And what they say is speed kills. And Filipinas playing with a lot of speed right now. Kaya Pingo relentless on that baseline. Putting pressure on Mongolia. Keeping the Mongolian ladies on their heels. And most importantly, Mongolia hasn't been able to even start thinking about setting up their offense. Seems like they're only playing defense for the past minute and some. Pingo able to really disrupt the defense with her quickness. And uh, that doesn't amount to a score for the Philippines. Claren misses. But two players that penetrate, a shooter in Jolson, and an all-around in Cacho is what they present. Meantime, the Mongolians, they've got the slashing and scoring ability of Kulan, the shooting ability of Indra from the outside, but they were not on the same page. And some of that grit and toughness from Aryan Setseg on the inside. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, wide open. That, that, they get a passing grade with that possession. Indra can't put it in. Kulan battling, grabs the board up and in. And Mongolia are finally on the board. 5-1 start, though, for the Philippines. They cooking. Cacho using that pivot. Shot off the mark. Kulan swinging through. Oh, great right pass. Oh, Aryan said they couldn't pay it off. Cacho. That's quickly cleared. Mongolia want to get it down in the post. Kulan going to work. She has punched the clock and got Mongolia within three. Kyle, obviously Mongolia is going to have to press on their physical advantage down low. Oh, two to your hand. Count it plus the foul. Josin with a master stroke out in the deep end. And she'll have a chance at the line to extend this lead for the Philippines. It's the battle of two styles. Mongolia right now hitting the mouth early. And Cookies, Pingle, carried it. She was thinking about passing it as she stole it. Obviously, that was the right read. She was looking to see if a fast break opportunity presented itself. But unfortunately, 
carried the ball a little bit too much. We got the first TV timeout. Kyle, Mongolia in trouble early. Yeah, they're, they're on their heels a little bit. And um, this isn't exactly a surprise because we, we knew how, how dangerous this Philippines team could be. We knew the heart that they play with, the passion they play with. And they put on a pretty good display, I'd say, this so far. They're moving the ball. Their shooters are shooting. Pingle is penetrating. Concho is playing. Mongolia just have to match it. Mongolia's not exactly playing their game, in, in my opinion. And Pingle, once again, the aggressiveness paying off. But you got to give credit to the Filipino defense for the reason why Mongolia's not playing their game. And it's kind of a trap when you're playing such an easy first game to then have to step it up with intensity against a much worthy opponent. Saikon misses. Kulan kicks it. Aryan sets it. Rainbow doesn't go. Out of bounds. No, nope. there's a foul. Foul blue. First on the Philippines. Five-point lead is not a safe lead in 3x3. We know that, especially with 6.30 to play. They're not getting the shooting from Indra that they need. She's still going to shoot it. That one comes up shy. Pingle with the quick step. She gets deed up, poked out, and it goes off of her foot, apparently. Or did it? No, it's blue ball. It's, okay, no. Blue ball. It's blue ball. I read lips, Kyle. I saw Edmund say, but I couldn't, you know, hear it. <laughs> you got the eagle eye. Cacho! Oh, oh that, yeah. that was a foul. Wait a minute. Being a cameraman is a dangerous job, Kyle. <laughs> we did a social media post at FIFA3x3. It was funny, it was showing uh, all the collisions, or most of the collisions between players and that particular camera spot right underneath the basket. We'll see it right now, and boom. That's right in your living room right there, up close and personal. Well, there's much worse in life than uh, having a room to sight behind <laughs> landing on your lap, I'll say that. Oh, you're gonna get in trouble, you better stop. No, I'm just saying, it's much worse. <laughs> Eight to two, as Aryan sets in. Put some work on the inside. Claren. Beautiful. Oh. Mike Jack. Uh oh Got to be a turnover. Nice start to this contest, especially for the Philippines. Well, Kai, I got a question for you. Would what? you rather have Kelman Poto landing on your lap? Oh, God. There you go. Absolutely See, I, not. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Bingo to the cup. Too fast, too furious. Indra. Responding right back. Press the accelerator, get to the cup, clearing. That's a bad pass. Pinker still trying to get stuck, trying to get to the defense. And Kulan is trying to revive the flame. She's getting after her girls. She wants a reaction. She's the unquestioned leader on this Mongolian team. Oh, yeah. And she's earned it. She's an Olympian and has been a part of. So many successful campaigns for the Mongolian women as Kulan splits the D, misses the crib. Aryan Setsek's got it back, makes her move, misses the shot as well. Kacho draws the foul, which is now number five on Mongolia. Correct. So one more to give for Mongolia, who trill it by six. And Mongolia slowly but surely getting closer to foul trouble, Kyle, and that's something that could really play to the hand of the Filipinas. Your son. Had a good look. Oh, tough drive. Sarah Kong. Oh, tough shot. Good defense. Smoke Saikon. Oh, offensive foul. 
Poulain was moving while she was trying to set, set the screen. First screen set. Gacho rolling fast and Joseph is a flame, an absolute flame. 12-5. She's a flame spreading to wildfire. Joseph. Oh, she gets more than your vision board. Back to back deuces from JJ. Told you, told you, Kyle. She's spreading to a wildfire. You can't stop it no more. If anything, the windier it gets, the more problematic it's gonna be for Mongolia. Mongolia with the, the bonus over their heads now. Philippines with a comfortable lead. What can stop them in this game? Great defense. She will recover and score. But they're gonna have to get a hand up on that lady right there, Joseph. She'll give it up, they swing it. Cross court, Claren now working from the Inleo logo, steps in and misses. Oh, and Ningo hits the deck. 3.54 left. It has been all Philippines, and particularly Jasmine Joseph, with her ability to knock down those twos. It's made a huge difference for the Philippines in maintaining this lead. And Mongolia have a little bit of soul searching to do. And Kulan has tried to revive the flame, but the flame is on another side right now. The flame is not wearing white, the flame is wearing blue. There is still enough time on the clock. Problem is, Filipinas very close to 21, much closer than Mongolia. And the foul trouble looming gives so many options to the Philippines that can fake out the long range and just go to the cup. And the contacts could get whistled to provide them with free throws. Oh, Sarakam nearly lost the possession. Late in the shot clock, Kulan heaves up some mess. And Cacho is down and in some pain. I don't really know what went down. Can we see a replay maybe on that rebound? She's in pain. So Cacho's still down. We, we spoke about her toughness, so it ain't, she ain't faking us out here. No, she's not, but yeah, I don't really know what happened. Cause she was not concerned with the ball at the moment of the fall. Gacho well, moving very, very, very gingerly on that knee. She can hardly put pressure on it at the moment. Such a key piece on this Philippine team. And for now, the Gilas will have to play without her. Whether, whether or not she's able to return or not is in question. They need a towel on the court. There we go. Get out of there. Get out there. Thank you. You missed the spot. Thank you. Right there. Well, 340 to go. 14 7. Philippines are in a good, better than a good position. A great position. Yeah, but losing Cacho at this moment could provide a little boost to Mongolia. Unless. Slick move. Can't make the layup. Travel. Sure it is. Back to it we go with Joseph. Step it up. Oh, great activity. Look at that. Joseph, thinking about it, she wants a screen. Joseph, in and out, drives. Runs it, gets it to Claren. Claren, just off target. 
That's a bad miss, too. Indra cannot find any consistency. Aryan said, said, close range. That's a no as well. And Philippines give it right back. Well, Mongolia need to ignite some scoring. And I think that Indra would be the go-to gal in that situation. And that Scenario with Kulan uh, getting a breather on the bench. They go to Indra to start the possession. Indra steps up from the logo, but her stroke is broke. Pingo. No. Indra. That one on the way. They're striking nothing but iron. Johnson. Dribble drive. Deed up, not cleanly. Andrew called for the foul. That's number seven on Mongolia. So two free throws upcoming in a dominant, dominant game for the Philippines. Warning for behavior against Mongolia. Can't be chit-chatting too much. So Joseph putting together a, an impressive individual campaign. And I might have jinxed her. They call it the announcer's jinx. Isn't it? You start talking good about somebody, and then they do. OK, she knocks down the second. Still doesn't take away from the fact that she's been balling this game. Joseph will get called for the pushing foul. It's only the third team foul against the Philippines. They still have a. A cushion that can maintain that aggressiveness without um, paying the price for it. Oh, and look who's back. Cacho's back. Oh, I like the sight of that. Cacho is back. With 2.13 to play, not that they even need her services at this point. I think this game is in the bag. Hard to see Mongolia be able to erase a deficit like this given the way they played so far. Get over here. I got something for you. Joe said, not that time. Look look at the effort, though. Even though Mongolia ends up with the possession, Aryan sets it, not that time. Powell, if you're the Philippines, you'll just hold on to the ball, you move it around, you take good shots, and it's a done deal. Oh, stepped on the line. And uh, Cacho is coming back. That's good to see. She had a hard time getting up off the court, and there was some concern as to whether or not she was going to be able to, to play. Maybe she got hit on it, and any hit on a spot that's already in pain oh, makes it Angel. quite difficult. That was a nice shot. It was. It's going to be too little too late, though. That shot off the back iron. Minute 22 to go. Indra firing at will. It is desperation time for Mongolia. If they're going to make a game of this in any way whatsoever, they've oh, got to hit a yes. barrage of twos. Oh, yes! She faked him like a Gucci bag. And that Gucci got one seat. <laughs> Eighteen eight. <laughs> I like that. That's one. a gucky bag. That's <laughs> a gucky bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, <laughs> we're terrible. We are. Forty seconds to go. I tell you who's been impressive in this game. Who's that? Pango. She did it all kinds of different ways. She started off providing such great energy, attacking the gaps, the baseline, the middle, you name it. And then she gave um, the Philippines so many new possessions with that defensive aggressiveness. She deflected the ball out of bounds three to four times. She stole a few. And then she found a way to, to be efficient from the outside. Gave us the biggest highlight of the game with the fake handoff finishing with a soft touch off the glass. I'm telling you, spectacular performance from Pingo. Well, something that you can't quantify in stats is the opportunity she creates for her teammates simply off of her penetration as we get a look at the leading scores. Jasmine Johnson, 15 big ones in this game. Unbelievable. 
Oh, wait, I'm sorry. No, that's her number. I, okay. I was going to say 15. No, that can't be right. Anyway, well, she's, she's, she's leading the way in the scoring category. She's got a couple of knockdowns from long range. She, she got about seven to eight points for sure. Bengal got about four or five. I don't remember if Katja scored, but it's a, it's a real team effort. Real team effort. You had me confused for a second. 15, I was like. No, I, I, she's got 10. She's got 10. Not far off, but she's got 10. And Pango got five. There you go. I Thank you, up, Bogdan. I looked over at the, uh, at the graphic of the leading scores. I saw 15. Well, I didn't realize that that, that was her number. Kyle, that, that, those 10 points feel like 15. I'll tell you that, though, because they've been just daggers to the heart of the Mongolians. A double-digit performance. She's got more than half of her team's points, and she ain't done yet. Who else want to get on the bucket list? You? And who you? else is going to steal that ball with Pangol? Oh, man, what, what a game by the Philippines. Long range. Why not? That will seal it, but this game has been over for five minutes now. 19 to eight, it was never in question. Jasmine Johnson, she got all the J's and she brought the J and leads the Philippines to a 19 to eight win over Mongolia.